<laughs> Enjoy the background ambiance. <laughs> Um, so, active citizenship to me is when a citizen does something. It could be anything. You'd see a need and meet it. Um, I guess it's just involvement in your community. Uh, I think for me, it, uh, it's just asking questions. When you start asking questions, you start to realize that there's still much work that needs to be done. Okay, probably someone who knows what's going on in their community and probably knows what's going on on global levels and how it's like relevant to their community. Seeing a need somewhere, whether it's your community, your region, and trying to do something about it. Learning what it means to be an active citizen, you know, like what's going on in the world? You know, we, we complain about high unemployment. Well, what can we do? What can I do as a person to help contribute? The emphasis is on the citizenship, which is a, entails a set of responsibilities and, and, a, and a sense of informing yourself. Interest. Not doing it is boring. It's interesting to get involved with things like radio. I think that's like a super liberating thing, like to be able to share your voice or interview people and inform people of things that are going on. Uh, my parents uh, were volunteers uh, throughout my sort of developmental years. I had great teachers, I had great coaches, and so I guess uh, volunteering and getting involved wasn't something I ever thought of as a burden. It was something I thought as you know, part of being a citizen in your community. I got involved because the stress level just seems to go up year after year after year, and it didn't make any sense. Why are we living this way? Because we're, because we're told this is the way you have to live. I just know that if you've got this thing in your gut and your heart that you want things to be better, you get involved. I've been in this region for the better part of my life, most of it, all of it. So, I mean, you've seen the highs, you've seen the lows, and you, ca you are kind of compelled to do something about it. My whole goal in starting Northern Starfish, my charity, is to do something and to inspire others to do something. In Niagara? Everything. Uh, opportunities in Niagara, we need, it's everything. Well, <clears throat> yeah, you know, it's, it's hard not, it's hard not to put it in a negative sense, but yeah, there, <laughs> there are many, many opportunities for improvement in, in Niagara. I definitely think there's more opportunities. Uh, the current one, like we're talking about uh, having meetings on the bus, I think taking advantage of current issues and current opportunities to get involved is very important. Um, I feel like the organizations that already exist are pretty good, but I think if anybody sees something they're interested in that doesn't exist here, it's the perfect place to make something start. There's so much that has to be done on so many different levels. Uh, and in, in the Niagara, uh, this is a great place to be. It's a great place to, uh, uh, you know, to take on those challenges right here. I can't think of a better place to live. It doesn't have to take a lot of energy. Just buy something local, you know. Support your local economy. That's what creates jobs. Like from my own personal experience, I think the helper support really is on a personal level, having mentors and having role models that you can look up to and ask for help and ask questions. There are always people out there that are like, oh, you can make it, you're doing a great job, and it's really great just the support that we have. I would say other active citizens really support and help me. Like, sometimes it's hard because you're not, I don't know, always supported financially in some ways, which, like, isn't really the important thing, but it can be a little tiring, like, not always being, like, recognized for work that you're trying to do. And when you see other people doing it, it just makes you more encouraged, and they definitely support you in what you're doing. I, I think the, the biggest help that we could, could use is, is, is uh, just people getting involved in, in whatever that they're passionate about. I would appreciate having just more conversation and more communication, to be honest. Um, a lot of times you think of an idea and sometimes you start working on it, and then you realize someone else is working on the exact same thing. And it's like, well, if we both have the same mindset, we both have the same goal, why can't we work together? More hands make less work, as the saying goes. And if everyone were able to come together and say, or just share ideas, I feel that we can get a lot more accomplished. What people need is to be patient um, with one another, 
to be patient with themselves. And when dealing with um, you know the institutions that are on here, to expect them to be patient and understanding, and that you're you're trying to learn. Uh, I think we have been cut off from and discouraged from becoming active citizens. People don't really know how to do it, and they have to accept that they're not going to be able to you know burst out of. The, the box and and do all sorts of wonderful things right off. I think you have to be, you have to be, you have to be patient. I think Niagara is a great community for getting involved. There already are a lot of opportunities. I think the challenge a lot of young people in particular have is how do I get started? And so I encourage you to find people who are already involved and just ask for help. It's, it's never a bad thing to ask for help. I think the only stupid question is the one you don't ask. So if you're sitting at home thinking, I don't know what to do, there are people out there who will help. Uh, you, you know, the main thing is, you know, you come home from work and you turn off the TV and you stop listening to uh, the, uh, the mainstream media and you start talking to your neighbors and suddenly things start to make sense. Don't be afraid to talk about your ideas, one, because the more you talk about it, the more people, even if they can't help you, they can lead you in the right direction to people who can't help you. Um, I would just say talk to as many people like that are already active citizens as you can and see what's best for you. Like really just go out and do whatever you think you might want to do because chances are you'll get involved and be really excited about it. We can't all do everything, but um, we can at least do something. For me, whenever I think of a project or a program to do in this region, it's personal for me because this is where I grew up and I'd like to say to whoever comes after me that, you know, this is my region and not in a boastful way or anything, I just want to say like, this is my region and I've helped it be what it is now. We made it. We were able to accomplish this thing. We all had a dream and we made that dream a reality. So there's this man walking on the beach. The beach is his regular route to work. And the night before, there was a huge storm and there were thousands and thousands of starfish washed up on the shore. In the distance, he sees what looks like a dancing figure. But as he got closer, it wasn't a dancing figure. It was a small boy picking up starfish and throwing them in the water. The man had asked, why are you doing this? And the boy replied, well, if I don't, all the starfish will die. And the man said, well, look, because of the storm last night, there are miles and miles of starfish, thousands of them. You can't possibly make a difference. The boy picked up the starfish, threw it in the water and said, I just made a difference to that one.